Okay, so you're starting to see how I'm starting to use this as a resource bin for students, this top one. They can always go to this, and it's very easy for them, and they can always look at the top. I've also gone through labels. Text page is kind of weak, so I won't be going through there. I'd rather compose a web page than a text page. A link to a file or a website. That's something I haven't touched base on yet. So rather than have them uh, download, let's say, OpenOffice or something like that on the internet, I can also provide it for them. Let's say I go to Files, and I would have something in here. For right now, I have Guy JPEG. Okay, so I'm gonna make, I'm gonna upload a new file here, and maybe I'll upload uh, this membership doc here. a Word document. I'm going to check it. And then I'm going to go back and say link to website okay so what I'm going to do is say uh, word example one okay then I'm going to go choose or upload file well I've already uploaded it I uploaded it here incidentally if you if you want to skip the first step there's also an upload file feature right here. All right, like the one before, like this one right here, where you know I can go in here and can't copy anything. Here's the complete mere opposite of that. So here. I'm able to open this and I could choose like open office right here and there we go so for this one I probably would include the one that started it all you know what I mean the one that has no formatting whatsoever and then I would tell them to make it look like this so that's the advantage of using uh, this link compared to this link this link I would probably have the end result this one I would have the beginning so they could start out with this and end with this so that's the advantage of using the link to file or website again or website so I can even link to something external. Alright, let's go on to the next video.